Money! Something pretty much all of us want more of. In this video, I'm going to teach you five ways on how to manifest more money into your life. If you're new here, I'm Sarah, and I help teach people how to find inner happiness through fitness and spirituality. And today is the day that we learn how to manifest more money into our lives using five methods. So the first thing I want you to do before you get into any of these five methods is dig into your brain and figure out what your money blocks are. And what do I mean by money blocks? I mean the things that make you feel that money is hard to obtain, or it's evil, or it's bad, or any of those things, because we all tend to have some money blocks deep within us that we might not even realize. And the reason is, is because society as a whole, as well as most of our caregivers, have put that into our brain, even if they didn't mean to. Things such as hustle culture and you know working around the clock and work hard to get money and money doesn't grow on trees and all rich people exploit others and all rich people are bad and things like that. So explore that because if you don't get to the root of what those things are, the next five methods aren't going to help you at all if you subconsciously believe that for whatever reason you're not deserving of the money or you think it's bad or you think you're gonna be some evil person if you get money, which a lot of us are taught. So after you're done doing that, let's get into step number one. And that is have an attitude of gratitude. If you don't appreciate the money that you do have, why would the universe send you more? If you can't appreciate what you have, you're not going to appreciate what you get. And that's no matter how little you may have. You have to be grateful for it and not just saying it like, oh, I'm grateful for this house. Like, think about it. Like, think about the house you're in, no matter if it's where you wanna be right now or if you want something bigger or better in the future. Be grateful that you have a house, that you have shelter, that you have a home that you can go to because I can guarantee changing your attitude from a negative to a positive one is going to be the best thing you can do. Having a negative money block, a negative money mindset is the biggest block that's going to kind of take over you. Okay, so number two, this is going to be your first more practical way besides just the mindset stuff but it's going to assist you in the mindset change. So what I want you to do is I want you to put money away in savings either every day or every week. But as you're going through this transition, I really recommend every day, even if it's just $1. So what does this do? You're gonna say, oh Sarah, what the hell is a dollar a day? It's not really about the actual money, but it's in the repetition of putting money away. It's rewiring your brain that you do have money to put in savings, you do have excess money. And that will begin to change your mindset of lack to a mindset of abundancy. Like, yes, I do have money to put away. I am moving money from checking to savings, even if it's just a dollar every single day. And when you start getting into that feeling of abundance and that you do have that excess money to put away, it will begin to attract more money into your life. Okay, so number three, and this is probably my favorite one. It's almost like a money game you can play with yourself, but it is amazing. And I have been doing this for years. I don't even know where the idea came from. I don't know when I started doing it, but I know I've been doing it for years. So every time you go to make a purchase that you don't need, so we're not talking about you know, paying your electric or going to the grocery store or paying your car payment. But I mean something you don't really like need, but you want. So let's call it a $5 Starbucks coffee. What you're going to do is match whatever that amount is, in this case, a $5 cup of coffee, and put it into your savings. 
So I drive up to Starbucks and I'm like, hey, can I get a skinny vanilla latte? Because that's what I love. And say it comes out to being $4.90 something. So I'm spending $5 on coffee. So I'm going to put a different $5 into my savings. Now, sometimes you'll say, well, I, I can't do that. I, I can't put another $5 in the savings. And that's how you know you shouldn't be buying that cup of coffee. And if something like that happens to me, more often than not, what I'll do, instead of buying that $5 cup of coffee that I can't match the $5 in my savings account, I will put the $5 I was going to use for the coffee into my savings account because in my mind, if I'm willing to spend the $5 on the coffee that I don't mean, then I can put that $5 into my savings instead. And you'll be amazed at how often this stops you from buying things you don't actually need and how much it will begin to build your savings if you do choose to do that. All right. So number four is going to be a little controversial, but I believe it could arguably be the most important and the most life changing. And that is using a credit card for all purchases. And I'm going to explain to you how exactly to do that in an efficient way where you don't go into credit card debt, you raise your credit score and you get rewards. So I've got this little whiteboard thing here. Oh no. All right, so I had to move because of the glare with the way, it's not like an actual whiteboard. You're gonna see the camera, but it is what it is. I can't stop that from happening. So you'll see here, we've got a first checking account. That's where you keep your money. Your second checking account, which would I, is what I call my reserve account, we're not talking about savings in this, and your credit card limit. So I put really easy numbers here so that we could break them down very easily. So what you're gonna do, say you're going to the grocery store and you spend $100, okay? So you're using $100 from here So all you're gonna do is move $100 from your spending account where your debit card would be and put it into a separate checking account. So you're going to subtract the $100, well, I'm like all up in your business, from your checking account like it were a debit card and you add it into your second savings account, making it $100 more. So all you're doing is moving money from where your debit card money will come out into where you pay your bills and your credit card from. And that's where I keep all my bill and credit card money. So then at the end of the month, you already have the money into this account and you're not spending, it's not available to you anymore. It's not available in the usual account that you use. So you're not overspending and acting like you're using it. So that's how you want to build your credit, use a credit card and get rewards out of it. So if you guys have any questions on that one, just drop a comment below and I can explain it a little further. But this has gotten me, I haven't paid for a flight in years because I get them because I use my credit card for everything. I pay it off in full at the end of every single month because I use this method. And I get free travel, I get free hotels, all kinds of stuff. So the last tip, number five, is going to be kind of the most fun one. And this one's really going to help with your subconscious mind because I don't know if you guys know this, but our subconscious controls around 95, 96% of everything we do. So even if you're consciously trying to rewire things in your, in your conscious brain about money, you have to get to the subconscious. Whether your goal is a hundred dollars, a hundred thousand dollars, a million dollars, or whatever that number is in your mind that you want, this is a really fun and easy and repetitive thing that you can do without really doing anything. So I want you to have that number in your mind. What is it for you personally? And just, just have it in there, okay? And you know what? I will show you guys what I do. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys mine. So what I want you to do is grab a dollar bill or whatever you have and physically with a Sharpie write on it the amount that you desire. Like I said, it could be any amount that you want. 
The biggest thing to remember is that you've got to feel like this number is attainable for you. You don't have to figure out the why or you don't have to figure out the how or how it's gonna come into fruition for you, but just the number that you want. So for example, if you have $50 in your bank account, it's probably not realistic for you to say, I want a trillion dollars, but it should be something that is something you actually want, an amount you actually want. So I want you to take the dollar bill and write the amount of zeros on it that you're looking for. So I will show you guys mine. This is my bedroom. And then what you're gonna do is tape it on your ceiling. You probably can't see it in the video, but mine has six zeros for a million dollars. Now, the only reason I have that is because I already, I've already made $100,000, so my next goal is a million. Now, obviously, you can take a $5 bill or a $20 bill or whatever you want and do this with. I just wasn't really trying to write on a $5 or $20 bill. So basically what happens then is every single morning you wake up, it's the first thing that you see. Like this is where I lay at night. I wake up, there it is. And every night before you go to bed, you think of it. So what it's doing is it's repeatedly getting into your subconscious, getting in your mind, and you're thinking about it often without even realizing it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You are so deserving of the money you desire and you don't have to work 24 hours a day, seven days a week to obtain it, but you just have to believe that you can and use some of these methods to really change your subconscious, change your brain waves, change your thoughts around money so that you can attract it into your life. And like I said, don't forget, you don't need to know the how. Like, I don't know how I'm gonna make a million dollars, I have no freaking clue. But that doesn't mean it's, gonna ha it's not gonna happen. So I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, if it helped you, don't forget to like and subscribe. Share it if you think it'll help with anyone else. And don't forget, be limitlessly yourself.